Hey guys, Clint here again. Last step for uh, our progression for the kipping pull-up, uh, intermediate to banded kipping pull-up. Uh, I know we've definitely all expressed distaste for this particular step. I think with this schema though, since it'll be the last one really exposed to, I just think it's the last real step, especially after the previous one. The reverse banded kipping pull-up is a very substantial progression, requires a lot of strength and coordination. So I'd consider most of those people to be on the borderline anyway. So when they move to this banded kipping pull-up, they're already going to be fairly proficient. We just want to make sure that they're checked off on coordination and that they can control the movement fluidly because they've definitely built up all the necessary steps. They've built up some strength with the ring row. They've built up some coordination with the kipping swing, jumping pull-up. Then they've built up both with the last step. Let's just take a quick review. Standard to advance, and the previous step was red band for the gals and purple band for the men. So once they do have that capacity, encourage them to use the same band. Okay? Just don't let them kind of get married back to this one. But honestly, this is a full kipping movement, so if they're executing correctly, it'll feel easier than the previous step. Uh, but we all know what to do. Band in place, use the box if needed. Hang on to the bar. Okay, so make sure they're checked off on coordination that they can hit a good open and close without a lot of difficulty. Make sure they get some reps. Clean and unbroken. Again, if they're a little more on the advanced side, this could be a scale for Metcon. I would still discourage a lot of high volume work until they really developed a lot of unbanded capacity. Um, for skill work, on the imams, we don't want volume. Again, we want them to practice quality reps. So two to five. Two to five every minute on the uh, That's the progression for the kids.